Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV, I'm Brett. We've got a new unboxing. This one is Mezco and 112 Collective's Daredevil Shadowland figure. Now, for those who don't know the storyline, Shadowland was a, uh, a comic art that went through a whole bunch of issues of Daredevil, and I think there's a whole a couple other things that kind of tied into there. Basically, uh, the hand, you know, those ninjas that you might have seen in the second season of the Daredevil television show, classic villains, uh, they went and had this... Um, uh, 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 castle in the middle of New York City. Daredevil goes in and winds up taking over the hand and winds up, I think he was possessed by a demon, if I remember correctly. But what was kind of cool is Daredevil had this badass black version of his suit. Now, this is the style of the character that I've loved ever since. Um, I know some folks don't quite dig it as much, but when I saw this figure from 112 Collected at uh, Collective at near Comic-Con, I knew I had it. So what they're doing is more in the line of, I say, classic Amigo figures as far as style and size, but with tons of accessories and uh, the detail is absolutely super. So uh, One Tail Collective has figures not just uh, based on Marvel characters, but there's also uh, DC. Uh, there is Judge Dredd with his Lawmaster, and that figure is amazing. They've got Space Ghost coming up. It's just really, really cool. Now, opening it up already, we can see there's tons of accessories. It's kind of the big thing with a lot of action figure now nowadays is uh, the amount of accessories that are out there for you to put and uh, use. So let's go over the figure itself initially. Head pivots really, really well. The body itself, um, there's kind of a, there is a cloth over, uh, like a rubbery cloth that's over. This isn't just like colored plastic, so that detail's great there. You can kind of see it a bit more around the legs as far as the cloth uh, outfit. So the head pivots amazingly up, down, side to side, all around. Doesn't do the three, well, it actually does 360. There we go. Uh, the arms as well, really good kind of movement, realistic movement. They're not going to move, uh, you know, behind him in some way. Wrists, kind of the standard that we've seen, the 360 pivot plus, you know, back and forth to some extent. Legs clearly pivot at the crotch area. There is knees that do really well. The foot goes up and down like we've kind of seen there you know this is what I'll describe is kind of this the standard that we've seen for quality action figures at this point in time so let's go if he stands up on his own we'll do a nice test with that character does do that so he passes that test uh, there's some great detail here not only do we get kind of the shoulder pieces that has slight shading on it, I don't know how well it's going to come off in the video, but the gauntlets also have that as well. It's not just straight red, but there's some black in there as well, some uh, I would call it dry brushing. Uh, we've also got the belt, has a similar look to it, actually looks uh, worn a little bit. Uh, there's some silver with the, the dry brushing there to give some detail and it pops. On the side we got uh, pouches that um, have some good detailing on there. The knee kind of shield caps, whatever you want to do, call them, have that, boots as well. So it's not just straight up black, it's a little black with some slight shading. Uh, to the side on the belt, I think it looks really cool, is that we have um, a place to put his actual batons. So uh, they give you a couple batons. There's this pair, which is connected with the wire. So you can have him like throwing out the baton, which is pretty neat. But let's go with the standard batons, and everything's going to fall out, so yay for me. The standard batons, I believe, will fit in nicely. So, we see one, and we've got two. So, we got his batons fit nicely in his pouch. Hands, tons of options here. Wide open hand. A matching one. We've got him doing whatever we want to call that for both hands. I'd say it's the shocker, but I don't think that's quite right. Uh, we've got a closed fist. Another closed fist. This one, these ones are clearly to hold the actual batons themselves. Let's go test that out. Yeah, I mean, that's... That fit without even without even trying, and that fits nice and snug. Uh, we've got the, this kind of grasping sort of thing going on. 
Um, overall, you know, this is a lot of options as far as hands, putting them together. This one, I'm going to guess, is supposed to be his sensor. Not quite sure where we're supposed to do with this one. I'd have to look it up in the actual images out there. I don't know. I think it's maybe supposed to be kind of his, uh, his sonar. I'm not 100% sure. Um... Let's see what else we got here. Uh, the other thing that's nice about the OneTel 12 Collective figures are the base. You can see a gorgeous display base on the bottom, and then they give you a mechanism underneath that we can see right here that you can go and uh, actually stand the figure up if you need to. So if you don't want him standing on his own, you got some options where you can actually stand him up uh, using a base and display him for everyone to see. Overall, really, really impressive. These figures are a little bit expensive. They run uh, generally between, let's say, about 70, 75 bucks, maybe 80 bucks, depending on what they are. Um, they are very limited so if you want them you need to get them relatively soon i would suggest pre-order them by the time they get to the release they are generally sold out we'll have some links so that you can go check stuff out i mean there's some great figures coming up superman superman red sun uh, space ghost is coming out uh, there's an amazing spider-man figure along the line overall i've seen these at uh, New York Comic Con, and I think there were some at San Diego, if I remember correctly, but definitely New York, and they're gorgeous. They're absolutely fantastic, beautiful figures. Uh, if you are a toy collector, and if you specifically collect toys from uh, Marvel or DC, I mean, I think these are must-gets. Completely gorgeous, absolutely fantastic, and would look amazing on anyone's uh, shelves as part of a collection. Definitely check it out. I'm impressed. Like, I thought these looked nice in the display windows, but to be able to get one in my hands and check it out, I think is even better. So now, if you're interested and you want your own, as I said, there are going to be links underneath this video that you can go and uh, check out what is available from Mezco and 112 Collective. As I said, there's some fantastic figures coming out. Superman, Red Sun, uh, Space Ghost, Spider-Man. Uh, there's the Batman figures from Batman vs. Superman. There's Superman from Batman vs. Superman. Uh, Wonder Woman, just... You name it there. There's the Punisher ones that look awesome. And you can see that they come with tons of accessories. So uh, you're not just getting the figures. You're getting tons of uh, additional stuff that you can go and uh, give them a look that you want. But thanks for watching. If you are into superheroes, you should go check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. Of course, we're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, thanks for watching. Go and save Hell's Kitchen, and more importantly, keep it geeky.